Hi guys, it's Danielle Panabaker. It's Tuesday afternoon. Um, I was just gonna check in and say hi. Um, there's a new Flash tonight. Uh, season 4, episode 13 is airing, which is crazy to me. I can't believe that we have already aired that many episodes. Um, but I think it's gonna be a great one. This was a my first time working with that director, um, Tara, or Tara, um, and I thought she was fantastic. I had a great time working with her. I think she was incredible. Um, and I'm excited to see this episode. Um, I think you guys are gonna get a return of Killer Frost for a minute there, so um, be sure and tune in. Let me know what you think. Um, Let's see, so 13 airs tonight, and then I think we're taking a break. Um, episode 14, uh, and then 15 is gonna be a really cool episode. It's something we've never done before. It's a really cool idea. Um, 16 is gonna be great. 17 is the episode we're filming right now that Kevin Smith is directing. Um, we have a table read for episode 18 tomorrow, um, being directed by returning favorite Hannah Lee. So um, we're keeping busy, but they're definitely catching up. You guys watch them so quickly. You guys watch the episode faster than we can make them. So 13 airs tonight, and, that, and make sure you guys tune in and, and uh, stay tuned. So let me see any questions here. Uh, Heroes and Villains London. Yes, I'm very excited. I can't wait. Um, excited to get back to London. Um, will Goldberg be coming back? Um, I think his storyline wrapped up really well. I, uh, I just actually watched episode 12. I thought it was great. I thought it was actually one of our stronger episodes. So um, uh, I think... I, I really like the way his storyline ended. Um, asking questions about Amunet. Amunet is back in tonight's episode. Um, I really love the dynamic between Caitlin and Amunet. Don't know if you're going to see any more of it tonight, but um, you get to know a little bit more about Amunet. Um, tonight, I mean, you'll see Caitlin. Like I said, you'll see maybe you'll see a little sneak peek of everybody's friend, Killer Frost. Not really friend. Um, is Caitlin's mom going to be returning? I don't know. I would love to see her mom return. You know, I've been pretty clear that I would love to see more about Caitlin's past and case, Caitlin's history and her family life. So I would like to see her, her mom come back. Um, would love to visit Norway. Um, be coming to Dallas. I don't know. I would love to. I think there's a convention in Dallas in April. I'd love to attend, but I haven't been invited yet. So we'll see. Um, will Killer Frost go back to being on the bad side? I would like to know more about that myself. I would like to know what makes Killer Frost so bad, and, um, I hope we get to explore that a little bit more. Um, let's see. Uh, any more good Caitlin and Cisco stuff coming up? Um, in, ten in the episode we're filming right now, which is episode 17, uh, there's some good stuff with Caitlin and Cisco. I always want more of that well, uh, as well. Um, is this the last episode before a break? I think we're off next week, but I think it's only a two week break, so it's not super long. Um, is reminding Caitlin of the endangered puppy is the best way to turn her into Caitlin Fro Killer Frost? Um, I don't know. I think they're still learning, you know, what, what makes her turn into Killer Frost and what doesn't. It's exploring just a little bit. Um, let's see what else um some exciting things are coming for she authority um i know we did a live on instagram uh with you guys a couple weeks ago with candace and katie and we're all working hard to get that website up and running we can't wait to see more of your contributions um let's see will they do any more of the rogues i don't know about the rogues i feel like you know a few of them are busy over on legends um let's see do I like playing Killer Frost with the villains or with Team Flash? You know, I think last year Killer Frost was with the villain of Savitar. I think it's been a little different this year. Um, any other questions? Talk about Brazil. I love to come to Brazil. You know, it's tough. I, You know, our hiatus is so short. I think we usually have about nine weeks of a hiatus, so it's hard to squeeze in everything I want to squeeze in. Uh, bring Tom to Heroes and Villain Fans London. Um, I would love it if Tom came to London. I don't know. You know, Tom's got a family, and I think it's hard to travel them all, um, especially when the kids are in school. Um, what else? I saw, oh, a couple questions about Bella. Bella's doing great. Um, she had some chemotherapy last week, but hopefully that's her last round. She goes back in for a checkup in a couple weeks. Um, doing more crossover episodes. I don't know. I feel like later in the season we tend to have like little popover crossover, crossover episodes where it's just one person. Um, I'd like to see more of that. Um, let's see. Oh, Sky High. 
Guys, I love Sky High 2. Who wants to write the sequel to Sky High 2 so that we can make it? Um, in the upcoming season, I mean, guys, we've got to fight the thinker. He's, uh, he's two steps ahead of us. We're getting close to finding all those bus metas, though. Um, the Tornado Twins. I don't know who the Tornado Twins are. Um, let's see. Well, I think that's it. Unless you guys have any other questions, um, I just want to say make sure you turn, tune in to ninth episode of The Flash, all new. Um, will there be another musical episode? I don't think so. Not of The Flash this year is my understanding. That could change. You never know. It's pretty ambitious, especially with the crossover of all the other characters. Um, so, yeah. So, thank you guys for popping by, asking some questions. And don't forget, all new episode of The Flash tonight. Make sure you turn in. Bye.